Hello students, let's read our question. Which of the choices below represents an expression that describes the perimeter of the rectangle below? Okay, so um, we're gonna select a choice to describe the perimeter. Okay, and uh, basically that's gonna be our question. A circle underline box for elaborate I like that I have a picture so what I'm gonna do is identify the parts of my rectangle so I can get to the perimeter now I'm gonna remember what perimeter is we learn in the school that perimeter is going all around the shape awesome and I see here that this side is given and something that I know is that the bottom side or the base of this rectangle is given. Which other side is given? Left, top, or right side? And yes, the answer is the top side. Awesome. So if y plus 3 is given, also the top is given. Looks like a flag, right? Okay. Now, if the right side is given... What other side is given? The left side, great. So if the right side is 15, then the left side is also 15. Okay, so now I need to come out with an expression that describes this perimeter. So the expression will be here on the side. I have y plus three that I got it from the top and bottom. And how many of those do I have? I have two. So I can do y plus 3 plus y plus 3. Then add the left side that is a 15 and then add the right side that is another 15. See that guys? Great. Now I can summarize this in a different way. I can simplify. I see this y plus 3 one time and then another time. It's the same as saying two times you have the y plus the 3. And this is exactly the same information we have on the top. We're just simplifying it. And then also I can say and you have two times the 15. Okay, so I have either this way or I have either this way. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start analyzing each of the choices. So I'm going to get started with choice A. Choice A says 3 multiplies y plus 15. And just right there, it doesn't look like, but still I'm going to do my work. When I have a number in front of the parentheses, we know they are distributed. We apply distributed property, and what it means is that 3 multiplies the y, we bring down the plus, and it means that 3 multiplies the 15. And I compare my answers, and uh, in none of this, I have that the 3 multiplies the 15, you see? Here we have the 2 multiplies the 15, and we're adding to that the 2 multiplying the y plus the 3. That, in other words, is like what we have on the top. And if we add these y's on the top, the blue ones, how many y's do you see? 1 and 2 y's. But here they have 3 y's. So, let, uh, choice A cannot be your answer. Now let's analyze choice B. And for choice B, they got two distributed property with y plus 15 minus 3. And remember, we know that 2 distributes with the y, that 2 distributes with the 15, and that 2 distributes with the negative 3. And in other words, they multiply each other. So we're going to do it. The 2 times the y plus 2 times 15 and then minus 2 times negative 3, 
minus 2 times 3. This minus is this minus here. Then I keep this positive like this. Okay. And then I can convert this to the answers that I have here. This 215 can be this 215 in here. But then I will have this left over. See this, guys? And then this 2y's, it could be this y plus this y here. But then I will have this 3 and this 3. Could be this 3 here, but here these two 3's are positives. And in here we have this one in the front that says that is minus. So it's not the same. This choice cannot be your answer. Now I'm going to analyze choice C. Okay, so now on choice C, uh, we copy the expression to parentheses y plus 15 plus 3. And these two distributes the values inside the parentheses. And we have first 2 times y plus 2 times 15. And the 2 is not distributing the plus 3 because now we have a plus in between. So the plus 3 just brings down like that. And I'm going to compare this to the choices that we have here. Uh, maybe so it can be easier to see. I'm going to do this distribution here too. Remember how this is the same as all this. All of this is the same as this. And also I'm going to put it like this. 2 times y is 2y's plus 2 times 3, that is 2 3's. And all this is exactly the same than all what we have either here, here, or here. And then I'm going to keep the other side of the same way. And 2 15's. And I'm going to compare this word to this word. So look, this 2y. Okay, could be this one. So far, so good. I'm going to say, okay, this one could be. Then here, 2 times 15, it could be this 2 times 15. You see? It could be this one here. But then this 3 here, it cannot be this one because this one has a 2 in front and this 3 is just by itself. So it's not the same. So we cannot take that answer. Now let's check D. And for D we have 2 that multiplies y, y plus 3. You see this, guys? And that looks like this section here on the right side. Can you see it? I'm highlighting it in green. Okay, great. I'm going to use yellow highlighter. And then they have a, ah, we're doing D, plus 2 times 15. And that's what we have here, 2 times 15. So our answer in this case is going to be letter D. Awesome, guys.